Which brings us back to where we began with La Surprise. Um, with this one painting, the various methods that we've seen employed in verifying attributions to Vato, connoisseurship, comparison to contemporaneous engravings, study of the early written sources, provenance research, and technical analysis, including radiography, can be brought to bear in determining its authenticity. La Surprise is a painting of, of surpassing strangeness. Set in a garden at the end of the day, an actor from the Comédie Italienne, dressed as the character Mezzotan, sits on a, a stone outcropping, his knees crossed, tuning his guitar. He looks to the right at a couple seated beside him who swoon in a passionate embrace. Her costume is rustic and contemporary, her lover's is theatrical. The three figures seem, uh, seem to almost inhabit different worlds. A dog watches his human companions with avid curiosity. For the startlingly amorous couple, Vato turned to his favorite source of inspiration, Peter Paul Rubens. The lovers are based on a red chalk drawing that Vato copied directly from a pair of dancing figures in the center of Rubens' famous painting. Uh, they're there. Famous painting, the Kermesse uh, of around 1635, which was one of the treasures of the French royal collection. It's in the Louvre now, of course. Vato's drawing in the Musée des Arts Décoratifs is a spirited but highly accurate reproduction of Rubens' dynamic pair. However, the, uh, the artist modified the image as he adapted it to La Surprise. While the couple's upper bodies remain as in Rubens' painting, the lovers are no longer on their feet. The man uh, now sits balanced on the edge of the ridge while his lady slides almost to the ground, held up only by his determined embrace. Vato modified Rubens' figures to stress, as Pierre Rosenberg has observed, their precarious balance, the giddiness of love. The figure of Mezzotan derives from a red and black chalk study in the Louvre. The sketch was undoubtedly drawn from a posed model whom Vato dressed from the trunk of costumes he kept in his studio. The unexpected juxtaposition of this theatrical clown, a, a diffident withdrawing figure more accustomed to, to observing others than to taking action himself, with the grappling physically and emotionally impulsive lovers who originated in the earthly precincts of Rubens's imagination, makes for one of the more enigmatic images in the whole of Vato's oeuvre. Rubens's powerful motif full of abandon, swirling movement and undisguised passion introduces into Vato's closed world representatives of an intriguing but foreign sensibility. Although Vato's mezzotan intends to serenade the couple as they make love, he is tuning his guitar, not yet playing it. Already a few steps ahead of him, the couple seems unconcerned to wait for his dilatory musical accompaniment. Vato had an unusual improvisational method of composing his fête galante. He maintained bound books that held his drawings, most of them sketches in chalk of figures that he posed in costume. Having selected several figure studies that he found appropriate, he then reproduced them in oil paint on canvases or panels that, on which he had already executed landscape backgrounds. He adjusted the figural groups to harmonize with this landscape setting that he already had, and he frequently altered or even painted out uh, complete figures as he perfected his final composition. He seems to have rarely followed any kind of compositional plan the way most uh, academically trained artists would. <clears throat> 